Hello, this is David Mandel, and I'm um, remaking this video because I didn't get the sound right the first time. Anyway, um, I've had a lot of people, well, I've had a number of people come to me to tell me that when they start up um, PY Charmed after they get it, uh, PY Charmed Ed, after they download it and install it, um, it doesn't have the menus and stuff that um, uh, Dan has in his video. Um, I had the same experience. I'm not sure, but I think what that comes from is if we go over here to um, um, our web browser and look at the PF Charmed website, once you install it, and get everything right and you fire it up for the first time <clears throat> it gives you the following the menu that is on the screen here and you're supposed to hit the button intro to python well i think some of us get carried away and we see things like check out from version control and we've got things in version control and we want to check out from version control um, or we want to create our own product or or a project or whatnot. I think if we hit one of those buttons, <laughs> then things go awry. So we get out of Python, we come back into Python, and it doesn't help. Um, and we get a screen that looks a lot like like this. So what some of us do is we uninstall Python and we reinstall Python. Uh, I'm sorry, we uninstall PY Charmed and we reinstall PY Charmed Ed as we're supposed to, <clears throat> and it doesn't help at all. <laughs> well, I didn't really play with that much. But I think the problem is that if you, let me clear my screen here. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this video on a Linux system because I have all my video software on the Linux system. I don't have much on my Windows system. Um, in any case, it works equally well, but I'll have to translate a few things to Windows. Um, if you do a if you use your file browser or do a dir command or whatnot or an ls in linux or uh, mac you will find that you've got directory or you'll find all the things in your home directory um in the unix environment unix or uh, linux unix mac that doesn't actually list all of your files because there's something called hidden files. And if you list all of your files, you'll find that you have a couple related to a Python, a PY Charmed. One of them is .pycharmed.ed. The other one is pycharmedprojects. or pycharmedprojects. Those are actually directories. Uh, I sometimes say files because everything is a file in um, Unix, including directories. Um, but um, you'll find two directories there. Those will be there whether you're on a Windows system or a Mac system or a, um, a Linux system. Um, they will be there. I think if you uninstall PY Charmed and then you delete those two directories, then you reinstall PY uh, Charmed, you'll probably be just okay. Um, I haven't actually tried that because I have another workaround that works fine. Um, but, but I think that would work for you. Th those two directories are in your home directory and they, uh, the PY Charm people don't want to delete those because that has all the customizations and all the projects and all the code that you may have written. So they don't delete those even when you do the uninstall. Um, and that's, you know, thank them for that. That's a good decision, but it does 
could cause problems for you and me. Okay, another workaround though. Suppose we have a, um, suppose our screen looks just like this one. Um, we have test helper Python, but nothing else. Well, here's what we can do to make everything work. Go over here, go to the open menu, um, uh, under the file tab, go to open. That will bring up some, um, uh, an area for you to pick files to open or directories or whatever. If you go to this, point to your home directory, which would be, well, on a Unix system, it might be something like slash home slash demand. On a Windows system, that would be what? C colon backslash users backslash your username. There you will find the directory dot py charmed charm ed dot and then at the end of the ed there will be the uh, revision number that you're using um, at the moment the newest revision is 3.5 anyway go into that directory it's the directory that starts with the dot if you're on a unix system you will probably have to type that in because um or copy it in, um, because it may not, it may not show up, uh, because it is a hidden directory. Okay, uh, from there, go down into config. Under config, there's an area called courses. Under courses, there's something called um, intro to Python. Let's open that. So we'll press the OK button. It says open in a new window or open in the existing window. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll open in a new window just for the heck of it. Okay, that will give us a list of our um, um, of our um, lessons and stuff. Generally, these will be collapsed. They're open because I had open things um, in my experimenting, but there'll be a collapse like this. Okay, that's not the same as the menus in Dan's video, but that will give you the same information. Let me, let's just check some of this out. If we go into lesson one, task one, um, and open hello world, we get hello world. That's the very same thing as in the video. If you look at the assignment list, that's the assignment one that you want. You can do it from that. Um, assignment two is comments. I don't think he opened that one. But, um, well, let's look at the assignment list here on the, in our web browser. I think that's over here. And, uh, uh, the number two object is variable definitions. So let's go back to where I was in PY Charmed. Let's go into task two. There we are, variable definitions. Um, and we can, and you see, we need to make our change here and then the job is done. And so on and so forth. There's about 10 tasks. I think he skips a couple of these tasks in here, but you just reading through the task, you can see which ones are which. And he goes down, the assignment goes down into, oh, maybe the first two or three tasks of lesson three. Uh, there's the one on concatenation. Unfortunately, I've, I did that in the first attempt to do this video, but um, this guy here was a little area that said put in the right stuff. And so what we want to do there is put in, we want to concatenate um, hello and we want to add world to that. 
And I think the concatenation operator in uh, Python is the plus symbol. So that should work. And indeed, if we press the um, execute button, we get down here, hello world. That looks awful. It's all ran together. Where, why no space? Go up above, look at things, think about things for a little bit, and you see that hello. The variable hello is uh, capital H-E-L-L-O. No space there. And the variable for world is capital W-O-R-L-D. No space there. Oh, we don't have a space. How do we solve that? Well, one way of solving that would be let's do some more concatenation. We'll put in a string that has nothing but a space in it and then we'll concatenate that. Well, that ought to be good. Gives us a button here. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Gives us some advice. Let's go down here and try it again. Hello world. Oh, that looks brilliant. Well, <laughs> not that brilliant, but it, it is what we want. And um, so that's cool. And that that is cool. Now, they did say that there was supposed to be a task, or some of the literature says there's a task manager off to the right-hand side. I don't really see the task manager window off to the right-hand side. But if you look in these, um, where's concatenate? There. If you look next to the concatenate.python thing, you get, there's, there's a fellow here called task.html. If you open that, that's going to have the task um, information in it. Uh, I think the best way to open that would be to open that in a, uh, in your favorite browser. Um, let's open it in Firefox. Now, unfortunately, I, and that would bring up a window with all the information in it. Of course, I've got Firefox already opened elsewhere on the system. So if I go over to my Firefox, yes, indeed, it has the information. It, it just opened a new tab and it put it in a new tab because Firefox was already open. But um, that's the information if, if you want to view the information. Um, so, going back here, um, that gives you everything you need to do the assignment. Um, I, I wrote this in a couple postings that I sent out er, earlier, but I wanted to make a little video of this, especially because... Um, What is really important is up here that when you are opening the files, don't go to the PyCharm projects, go to the .pycharmed ed. Um, when I type this out in the discussion forms or whatnot, that, that dot is very, very small, and um, at least to my very old eyes sometimes it's 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 hard to see um, so it, it is the dot py charmed ed folder that you need to open and then everything's cool okay and actually i will say um i'm not personally a big user of integrated development systems i use the old and tried and true Unix development system that I've used for many, many decades, and I like it very much. But um, having said that, this is a really a pretty cool system. I This is a good integrated development environment. Um, first, it's open source, which really is a, a bonus. Uh, but second, it's just well designed. It works well. It allows you to build um, um, 
lessons into it so it works well for education um, but I, I think it would work well for actual usage too I think one of the cool things about it is it is in integrated with the with a lot of the commonly used revision control systems um, on a small program personal programming it, it's not too Revision control systems are more overhead than they're worth. <clears throat> but on a big multi-programmer project, or even a big one-programmer project, um, revision using some sort of version control system is almost, almost, um, almost a necessity. I've been using version control systems since I started programming in the 19 well I didn't start then I didn't use them until uh, the mid or late 1970s um, in a way and I've gone through one after another after another after another today many many pro people especially in the open source world are putting their information up on a site called github G I T H U B, and that's a cool site, and um, and and the program, the Git system is is a good. Um, I don't ha I personally have very little experience with it, but it's a very good um, version control system, as is Subversion and CVS and well, other people won't say so, but I like RCS too. Anyway, neither here nor there. Good. Um, have fun. Bye-bye.